great Wednesday morning, June 4th, 2020. Six four, my son's height. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. We are in the ninth chapter of Ezekiel, and the Lord wants us to have compassion. The Lord wants us to pray for those who are suffering. Um, we're just getting to the point where some of our stores are being reopened not only because of the COVID pandemic, but also because of the unrest from the previous weekend and days ago. And it's, I'm still hearing it's still going on. Well, it says in verse four that the Lord back then in Jerusalem told Ezekiel to go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations, for all the evil, for all the unrest that is being done in the midst thereof. So the Lord wants us to sigh and cry and to be touched with others because guess what? It all affects us. Whatever is going on outside, even I'm looking across the railroad tracks of this park and there's a marked difference still the Lord wants us to connect and to bear the burdens of one another and it says in verse 9 why because the land is full of blood the evil is exceeding great and the city full of perverseness mm. the Lord has forsaken the earth we don't want the Lord to forsake the earth we want the Lord to be in the midst and to be in the middle of our issues, to give us direction. And he promises that he would do that as long as we hearken unto his voice. Psalms 104, we would have gone over that. We would have gone over 34, 74, 104, and 134. In the meantime, the Lord wants us to go forth unto our work and our labor until evening verse 23 why because the earth is full of the riches of the lord even with all that's going on and he wants us in verse 33 to sing praise to our god while we have our being while we praise him our meditation our thoughts shall be sweet we will be glad in the lord for he renewest the face of the earth with a brand new day, he sendeth forth the sun, he sendeth forth his plants to grow, he sendeth forth nature, herb for the service of man, in verse 14, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. So the Lord watereth the hills from his chambers, the earth is satisfied with the fruits of the work. The Lord has fruits of the work and he wants us to be fruitful in our work, even with everything that's going on. God still gets the glory and still wants to use his people. In Psalms 4, it says that, Know that the Lord hath set apart them that are godly for himself, and the Lord will hear when we call unto him. So, therefore, we put our trust in the Lord, and we can lay down in peace, get good rest, for he let us lie down in safe, safety, and then he puts gladness in our heart. Amen. So let's enjoy the blessings of the Lord, no matter what's going on, but let's be touched and connected and bless others during this time of bereavement, of mourning, of loss, and know that God is in control. He still wants his people to bless others. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.